How you doing everybody? Hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now this is going to be episode 3. In our previous episode we finished our first two classes, Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts. And we made our way to Professor Weasley to get some more instructions. And so now, let's see where we are going to go. Uh, Professor Ronan's assignment. Okay, so looks like we're gonna make our way there. Uh, before that, I had a question that I wanted to ask everyone. Now, there is a class called Defense Against the Dark Arts. Do you think most of the uh, practitioners of dark magic learn most of their dark spells from Defense Against the Dark Arts? I mean, I get the idea of uh, having a Uh, like I said, I get the idea of teaching kids, you know, defense against the dark arts. But how many of them learn about dark arts from these spells? Right? I mean, can't, it has to be the majority of them. Oh, another cat. Let's pet it. Nope, let me just set my headset. Okay. There we go. What is ah, he there up you to? Are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Hmm. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Hmm. Revelio. What is that? Well, let's get started on the task. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. How do we collect the page? Rebellion. Do we jump and catch it? Hmm. How the hell do we catch this? Lumos. Oh wait. There we go. I totally forgot about the spell we left. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here then. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Interesting. Nice. I'm actually liking this. 
collecting the pages and stuff. I trust the preliminary tasks work. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Okay, new spell. There Remember, we go. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. It's the first spell that didn't just have us uh, button smashing X. I like it. More complex. Oh, interesting. I like it. Oh, this is so cool. That's hey. it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly Prepare. symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty lover for to be accurate and lashed out. Nice. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Nice. I'm going to have fun exploring this. Now, let's see. Let's take a look at our quests. We have no assignments due. No relationship quest available. Hmm. The secret dueling club. Maybe in a in a while. We have to go visit Hogsmeade. Okay. So let's make our way to Hogsmeade. Oh, wait, before we go. I... Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. What is this? Do we get something? Oh, we already completed it, okay. Interesting, I like it. And gear. Looks like we can wear some new gloves. Hmm. Uh, sorry about that guys, I uh, didn't have any commentary, I was talking to someone. Now let's see where we need to go. Now I am... Huh. Which way is it taking me? Oh, going back this way. Now I am tempted to like uh, fast travel. But one thing I've noticed... Ooh. What is this? Ah, interesting. Not bad. This cannot possibly be as difficult. Huh. What is Rebellion. this? Interesting statue. Nice. 
Hello. Now let's get Looking to Hogsmeade. Me. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Nice. Now we're outside. Oh, that's the Quidditch Arena. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Interesting. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is, this beautiful, is so beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Nice. Interesting. So we can collect ingredients around the campus. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. She is ah, true. There's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. Damn, it's really far away. Plus, well, suppose if you're a wizard or a witch, you can just travel, uh, fast I travel. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Oh. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Damn, this is so cool. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find those crystals? Settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. I Hopefully it will for you too. Nice. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. 
What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Hmm. Poor Mr. Moon, a demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not the continent. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Nice. The rumors being out there are about goblins and such. It might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Okay, Hogs meets up here. This place is looking good. Small market area. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is there. Oops. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hmm. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that can um, that you can navigate using your field guide map. Nice. Ah, it's interesting. We're here. What is this? Tomes and scrolls. Let's go there. An inquiring mind. Whoa, that is interesting. Anything else we can interact with? Looks like not. Let's go upstairs. Huh. Got gold. Revelio. Is that a page? A book flying around. Hmm. Anything special here? Does not look like it. Let's talk with the uh, Thomas. Oh, sorry, Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts. Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. 
Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. This is actually pretty good stuff. Not bad. I think we'll keep it just in case. Rebellion. Oh, I swear I saw a book. Interesting. Now let's take a look at the map. All the vendors. I want to get the wand. Hmm. Let's check out the brooms first. Oh, it's locked. We can't get it right now. Hmm. That's pretty small and tall, but okay. Rebellion. Anything here? Got a uniform? Ah, it's like a Quidditch thing. Let's go back here. What do we have in our inventory? Ah. Nice. Interesting. Be right with ah it's you um just a moment please these are all wands holy ah, shit mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Whoa. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. 
How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, Can we get the Elder we'll Wand in the game? Something not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Whoa. Looks pretty good. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, we get to make our own wand. How intriguing. Hmm. Which one shall I take? That looks pretty good. Curious indeed. Hmm. I think I'll go with this one. How intriguing. No, I think I'll keep the original. Wood type. Curious indeed. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button. How intriguing. An elder an, or ash? I'm thinking elder or ash right now. Uh, let's give it a toss. Elder it is. How for intriguing. all of you who don't know, I just... I just flipped a coin. Well, something similar to a coin. Nine and a half inches. <laughs> uh, nine and three quarter inches. Ten inches. How long should I be? Um, let's do ten and three quarter inches. Intriguing. Huh. Well, we want it to be a bit bendy because we don't want it to, you know, snap on us. We've seen what happens to a broken wand. Curious. You indeed. know what happened to Ron. Let's do quite flexible. And now the core. I'm gonna go with dragons. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? There we go. Ooh. Oh, wow. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ah. <laughs> Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. 
Nice. So what happens to your old one? Now we have to visit potions. Hmm. Rebellion. Oh wait, there's something here. So much. Rebellion. There we go. It's another book. Action. Nice. I think that's gonna be it. Let's get the potions. What is that? Huh. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Hmm. Interesting. Now let's have a talk. Revelio. Hmm. Nothing in here. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss me? out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or Ooh, come back another proportion. time if you're in a rush today. Invisibility. Maxima. Okay. This is going to be pretty good. I don't think I want to... Oh, what's this? Stench of the dead? Okay. Oh, these are ingredients. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's move outside. It's a shame we can't, like, walk faster when we're outside. Uh, let's go to the Neep.
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Hmm. Well, Interesting. that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Revelio. Mm hmm Now let's take a look at the map. What is this? The old fool. We'll get this soon. The broomstick thing was closed. Interesting here. Let's see what we've got in here. Interesting. Can we go upstairs first? Station. Oh, well, let's just leave. Where else can we go? Three broomsticks, it is. Revelio. Cozy. What do we have here? Hmm. No one to talk to right now. Since it's on the way, let's go here. Hello. Oh, come in. 
in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Mm, not right now. I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Mm. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? Ah. Seems kind of bizarre that uh, a salon type area would offer to scar us. Oh, so much back. Go here. Revelio. Only a hairy hearted son can't defend a woman. Interesting. Let a mimic. Talk. Does not seem like it. Rebellion. Let's have a chat with you. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one.
Okay, that was Goodness. a good fight. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Nice. Repair her. Lucky they didn't do more without you. I will see what he wants. Ugh. thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Missing something. Oh, we need one more repair. Oh, wait, there we go. Revelio. Lumos. Oops, Repair wrong one. one. Ah. In here. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Hmm. Nice. Oh, the cloaks, yeah. Not bad. Scarf is worth two hundred gold. But, yeah, uh, we'll come back. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then.
I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to Rebellious, my shop at your leisure. Hmm. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. <laughs> Okay, looks like... Looks like this might be a good time to end it. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any tips and tricks, any suggestions, things I could do to increase my level, or things you'd like to see me do in the game. I am certainly oh. glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. 
But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Yeah. So, looks like that's gonna be it. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any suggestions, like I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!